Welcome on guys, why pray? It's your girl Chris Corio here, you're at Sexy Bad Girl, straight out of Jamaica. So today guys, we're doing something a little bit different. So let me tell you what inspired the difference. First of all, let me tell you what we are doing. We are doing a Jamaican linguistics class. What does that mean? I'm going to teach you some words in Jamaican and I'm going to tell you the translation in English, right? So when I came on, I said, Wagwan guys, why free? Wagwan, everybody kind of knows, Wagwan means what's up. Why free just basically means the same thing. What's up? What are you doing? Why free? Are you me say? Okay. So let me tell you what inspired this now. Last week for Women's Day, I dropped a post. Um, thanking, thanking all the women for supporting me because you know on my Instagram I have like 65% female followers Understandably so because my main product is dance, right? So anyway, I dropped that and there were like men and women in my DMs go, wow, it's the first I hear you talk Oh my god, can you teach us how to talk Jamaican? So I was like, oh, I don't know I don't want to learn all of everything Oh, I want about me, so I want to live with me too <laughs> Don't answer that question. So, <laughs> so as per usual, everybody always wants to know what the bad words are in Jamaica. Now we have several bad words. Our culture is very, it's very colorful, right? And I am hoping that I can say this on YouTube without offending anybody. I will say, look at them, look at them, look at them. My back blood clot, bruh. When I say my back blood clot, bruh, it means I'm a big, I'm a big, I'm a bad. I can take whatever you're coming with, right? I don't care if you want to report. I don't care if you want to do anything. My God, I'm afraid of the popo. All right, so let's whatever you want to say my back blood. In Jamaica, we're proud people, so that's where that comes from. So that's the first one, blood clot. B l o o d c l a a t. I don't know the origins, honey. I just know when you're upset about something and you say, wow, that man ugly. You want to say, that man ugly, no blood clot. So if I say, that man ugly, no blood clot. Basically what I'm saying is, he's a very ugly man. He's a very ugly man, God forgive me. Nobody's ugly. Nobody was born ugly. It's the things that we do to ourselves that makes us ugly. Mm, let's drop some gems. The next word is bomboclat. If you know about Jamaican culture and you've never used the word bomboclat, B-O-M-B-O-C-L-A-A-T. It's spelled so many different ways, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to spell it. Bomboclat. Bomboclat is used to express so many different things. Wow, somebody come home from Fine Fee and then carry one big barrel. Bomboclat. <laughs> if somebody frighten you, somebody creep up behind you, bomboclat. You know what I'm saying? So it is used in so many different ways. Um, but those are two examples. So that's number two. The next word now is rasclat. Now, rasclat, the older generation, what I find in Jamaica, say it like this Ross. So R A W S E, rasclat. Well, uh, whereas we will say RAS, R A A, R A S S or R A A S clad, C L A T. RAS clad is pretty much another expression of, you know, surprise, of describing something. If, for example, you're describing somebody just like the blood clot, right? The man blood clot, okay. The man RAS clot, okay, right? Or if you want to say, for example, move your bottom away from here nobody speaks like that in like english you would say move your ass move your ass if you're trying to insult someone right move your ass move your ass clot is what jamaicans would say move your dirty ass clot and i mean y'all know what dirty is by now i think the whole world knows what dirty is d-u-t-t-y is a jamaican way of saying dirty you're nasty you stink move your dirty ass clot that's what it means <laughs> So now we're gonna to move to some very common English idioms and I'm gonna put those over into a pattern for you. So if you see me looking to the right every minute, I'm gonna look on my board, I'm prepared, the girl is organized. So you know how it goes. You know the sweeps. You know how it goes. You know the sweeps. You know the sweeps. Just easy yourself. You know the sweeps. Alright? The next one. Relax. Or stop, you're trying to tell somebody to relax. Stop, you know, st cut them some slack. You want to say stuff like, Bill, no, easy, no, my girl, easy yourself. And that's another way of how we refer to each other. So, for example, if we're talking to a girl, we're gonna say, my girl, easy yourself. And when you say, my girl, you know, whenever you're cussing and like some like a posh, like a nastiness, we talk to you about, hun, hun, that's not how it goes. You know, when I use that word, hun, 
It's basically the same way I say it. My girl. You don't really mean that my girl, she's your girl. No, you don't like her. You just call her one girl. My girl, easy yourself. So you can either say it like you're doing it a derogatory way. My girl, easy yourself. Relax, take your time. Or you can say, my girl, easy yourself. In that way now, you'll be saying, you don't know what you're talking about. Keep your trap closed. You know what I'm saying? Easy yourself. Bill now. You know what I'm saying? Bill, easy yourself, chill. You can say it in a derogatory way, and you can say it in a hmm, calm down, cool down now, easy yourself. Build now, chill now. Alright? <laughs> the next one now, get out of hand, right? If a girl is getting out of hand, so say you're in a high school, and you notice one of your friends them, one of your friends them, all of a sudden she starts to act out. She acted out of hand. She's now dancing with boys, grinding on boys. She's going out with boys. She just, she broke out. In Jamaican language, you say, well, she broke out. That little girl, you broke out. She broke out, right? Okay, the next thing now, what's on my board? Think about it. The idiom is, think about it, right? In Jamaica, we would say, Meds it. Meds it. Meds. Meds comes from basically meditate on it. So, you know, I don't need to explain what meditate. Everybody knows what meditate is. So it's pretty much you're going to hold a steady meds and just be like, all right, you're not literally going to do this um, nam yo ho renge. That's not what we're literally doing. We're going to just go off and say, all right, I'm going to meds it. Right? So really and truly, Although most of these terms have their own meaning, some of them are ambiguous, it depends on the context, right? I do hope I've given you a general uh, understanding of how it is that we use these words. Comment below, Jamaicans, fill in us below as well because I know I did not exhaust the list. I know whenever I'm talking, I tend to be colorful sometimes. <laughs> Right, especially when I'm around people I'm comfortable with, but like, yeah, guys, this is my tutorial for the persons who asked for a tutorial last week. I hope this was helpful for you. I'll see you next week for a dance tutorial back to what we normally do. Hi, it's your girl Chris Coria here. Thank you so much for subscribing, liking, and sharing all my videos. If you like this content, I post YouTube videos every single Tuesday. We focus on dance fitness as of now we're going to be doing some jamaican tutorials so drop comments below let me know what part of jamaican culture you really want to get into and i will try my best to facilitate big up on the cells i love you all